Okay guys, this is going to be my shortest video that I've ever made. You're never going to find one shorter than this, at least not from me. Uh, one of my viewers was asking about measuring transistors. I'm just going to show you how to measure a transistor. This is a bipolar transistor. On a transistor you've got three leads, an emitter, base and collector. Important thing to remember about bipolar transistor is essentially it's two diodes both from the collector to the base and the emitter to the base. So when you want to measure an NPN transistor for example put your tester into diode test mode put your this is an NPN so the base is positive put your positive terminal on the base measure between the collector and the emitter and the base. So positive terminal on the base the biasing of this is base collector emitter so between collector and base you'll see it's about a 0.5 volt drop for a silicon transistor between the base and the emitter again about a 0.5 volt drop this is a, a good transistor if I reverse the leads it will be open everything else is open so open between the base and emitter and the base and the collector and of course we also have to measure between the emitter and the collector and that will also be open. If you have any conduction between the collector and the emitter such as a short, that's bad. Okay, If you get a beep or you get any reading between your emitter and your collector your transistor has failed. If you have any reverse bias between the base and the emitter and the collector and the emitter the transistor is bad. If it's a, B, a PMP transistor, it'll be the opposite. Your, your negative would go on the base. If you don't have a diode test function on your meter, you can still measure it with the ohms test function on your meter. Again, same thing. You will measure some resistance. In this case, it's about 3 mega ohms between the base and the uh, emitter. And the base and the collector are about 3 mega ohms same thing in the reverse direction it's open you see that and it's open whoops I'm touching the base there and it's open there as well and if I put my negative on the base this being an NPN transistor again it measures open so you can measure it with an ohm meter or more preferably the diode test function because then you're actually testing the voltage drop across the junction this works with bipolar transistors only. This type of test does not work with MOSFETs. You can uh, test MOSFETs as well but the readings are going to be different. It's also going to be different if there are any internal resistors. Some transistors actually have internal bias resistors in them and then you will get a reading but it all, de it all depends on the type of transistor but this test is for bipolar transistors only. Hope it helps.